Flem and happy sketching with the two vanishing point perspective. What is the difference between a two vanishing point perspective and a one vanishing point perspective? This is very easy. I have here a box and it lays here with a one vanishing point perspective. This means that all the lines that go to the depth so in this direction and this direction, they will meet somewhere at the end of the vanishing point. Now, a two vanishing point perspective we use for the situation when we have an object like this. So this means when we see two sides of a, a box, a house or whatever, or even when we go further down, under the vanish under the horizon we can even see three parts of an object and this is very helpful we have it very often this perspective in the architecture because you have more information on three facades or three sides of a building that's why it's very useful um, we have somewhere on the back our horizon and all the lines that are parallel they meet on a vanishing point. You can already see it here, so that they are going to meet the same for this direction and the other direction further down here. Okay, so I would like to make a construction for this situation. We have the horizon. We always start with the horizon. And we have the two vanishing points. Normally, vanishing points, they are far away, so not very close. And we start always, when we have an object like this, we start always with one line that is in front of us. So the, 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 the line that is closest to, our, the, the closest to us. Wherever this line is, actually it's not important if we do this construction, I do this line here, so it's the easiest way to explain it to you. So this is my first line and you know, those lines here, they go to the vanishing point on the left and those as well and these and these as well to the one to the right. So I can draw this concept. This vanish uh, goes to the vanishing point as well. Those from here and over here to this side. And again here, I'm going from here to this side. I simply say, well, the end of this object is somewhere here, whatever. Vertical stays always vertical, so I can end this object wherever I want, but vertically. Okay, so this is half, the first half of this building. But now the question is, how can we manage this part? So now we see a little bit of the cover of the box and you would agree that in real life those lines are parallel and parallel lines have the same vanishing points. So these two lines have vanishing points together and these two lines have vanishing points together. What does this mean? So these two lines have the same vanishing point like aha, the one that starts here behind. So we can draw it. And the same concept works here. So those two lines have the vanishing point here. And here, there is a parallel line. Uh, must have the same uh, vanishing point like uh, the first lines. And they go somewhere to here. And this is how my box looks like. I made a construction of a box with three sides so that you can see three sides 
Um, why did I do this? Because I think it's useful to have three sides and three sides means three times an information on an object. This is kind of the cover or the top of this box. So you understand it more easily. And now the question is for you, can you construct an object, a box that is above your eye level? And I give you a hint, start with this line first, draw it somewhere over the horizon here. And now it's your turn. How does it work?